Hi, welcome. I'm Susanna and this is Forever Yoga with Susanna, my YouTube channel, and this is my dog down here, Ellie. Ellie, say hi. Um, today we have a uh, yoga session that is osteoporosis friendly and effective. So if you've got low bone density, it's safe. And if you want to build bone density, uh, we're going to be doing some strength work and holding poses. Okay, uh, what will you need? A yoga mat and a strap. This is a dog leash. You could grab a bathrobe strap or whatever, a scarf. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. You could subscribe if you would like, as well as everybody. Don't forget to click that thumbs up like button. And I'd love to hear from you. You can go below the video and you may leave a comment as well as sign up for my email list. All right. All that out of the way, go gather up what you need. And we're going to begin today, as we often do, standing in a traditional yoga posture called Tadasana or mountain pose and allow a sense of getting grounded. Welcome back, my strong bones friends. Let's get started today, standing in mountain pose, Tadasana, uh, with your feet approximately hip, hip width apart and more or less parallel to each other. Root down in your two feet. So I'd love for you to just really feel the mat beneath you, feel whatever you're standing on, grip down. And while you're doing that, start to engage the muscles of your legs. So take a breath. Allow an awareness of breath coming from the soles of your feet up. Engage the muscles around your kneecaps, your quads. Tighten your glutes a little and drop your tailbone. Draw awareness now to your solar plexus. And then shoulders can come up to your ears. Inhale, exhale, shoulder blades down your back. Rotate palms forward and ramp your head back slightly. And now you'll be able to connect with earth up your skeleton to your crown all the way up towards the sky. So breathe from the center of the earth up your body. You're the conduit up to the heavens and exhale it back down. So this is our practice beginning here to feel that connection, that earth connection, feel grounded, strong, and yet connected and lifted. Perfect. Okay. Soften the knees a little bit. Let's go back to our feet for just a moment. Uh, lift your toes, spread them, spread your toes wide. And while you're doing that, feel the tripod of each foot. Big toe mound, pinky toe mound, and heels. So this is kind of a subtle thing, but important because uh, it's activating the muscles and bones and ligaments of your feet and everything on up the chain as well. So we start here with lots of energy, pulling up those toes. Excellent. And then plant the toes back down and then pedal it out. So go ahead and lift up your heels and press into the ball of your feet, each one, and go back and forth with a pedal. Great. Now, another foot exercise, so important. With all of your toes down, see if you can keep your little toes down only and lift your big toes up. Imagine you're pulling a string on each toe and pulling your big toes up only. Press down on the little toes. Good. And now switch that. Put your big toe, ten, big, big toe down and the little toes lift up. Press, press and pull. One more time, switch. Now if this is a challenge for you, you're going to practice uh, when you're not in this yoga session. You're going to do it even sitting down. You're going to hold your toes down and switch. Okay, so back and forth. Great, step that out. Next up, we'll start to prepare our minds and our bodies for balancing and also a little bit more foot love in this warm up section. So, with our uh, still with our feet hip width apart, rooting down. However, you may choose to move and hold on to a wall or a chair uh, or a counter because we're going to stand on one leg now and that can be challenging. So root down in one leg, lift up on the right. So you're rooting down in the left, lighten up on the right. 
play with this. Now, if you want to go to a wall, that's fine too. Um, but you might want to be um, working towards not using a support by letting go, okay? Because part of what we want to achieve here is to improve our balance. Root down, lift up lightly, and then see if you can come all the way up to crane pose, which is what I call this. 90 degrees with the leg that's lifted. And flex your foot, pull your shoulders back and down, arms out to the sides, sweep your arms up, inhale. Exhale, prayer hands to the heart, and then back to your hip. Now we're gonna keep holding this and draw some smiley faces with our foot and our ankle. Just go side to side with the foot. Remember, you may be holding on to a support. That would be fine. Good, and a full circle and a other direction. And pause, and then bring that leg down and step it out. Good. Root down in that side, lighten up on the opposite side. So first we just play with lifting and lowering. Get comfortable with being standing on one leg, balance. And then lift it all the way up, hold, breathe, smile. <laughs> Holding it here, flex your foot. See if you can bring your arms out to the sides and up. Balancing challenge. And prayer hands to the heart. Hands back to the waist. And then the happy smiles with your ankle. So go side to side with your foot and make full circle and other direction. Release. Two feet back to the earth. Step it out. All right, my friends, let's get started at the top of your mat with your feet still about hip width apart, root down. Soften and straighten the legs for a moment just to kind of warm up the joints. And now with a nice breath in through your nose, sweep your arms up overhead, reach and stretch. Exhale, hips back, utkatasana or chair pose. Pull the arms back into a cactus pose. This works on opening the chest and is great for your posture. Hold here, spread your fingers wide, and then plant your hands on your thighs, sit a little deeper, and then push off to stand up. Squeeze your glutes when you stand, and you're back in Tadasana. Let's do that again. Soften the knees. You're bending and straightening. A little bit of movement to start. Press down to rise up. Inhale, arms reach overhead on a breath. Exhale, hips go back as you sit. Utkatasana. Reach the arms out in front of you. This is a powerful pose called chair pose or awkward pose, Utkatasana. You can do the variation with the arms, your choice. Fine breath. I kind of like the arms in front because that feels like more length for my spine. You might choose to have your hands on your hips. But right now we're building strength in the lower body, holding the, the posture. Good, and stand on up. Release your arms. Relax your shoulders. Awesome. Let's stand on your right leg and step your left foot back. Plant it at a slight angle, and without making a big to-do out of it, find a comfortable stance for warrior one. Root down in your front foot, front knee bends. Feel the back leg nice and strong, weight in your back heel. Hips are going forward, right? Your hip bones point towards the top of your mat. Bring both arms up in front of you and then stretch them overhead. Point the fingertips towards the sky. Hold your warrior one and breathe. See if we can take four or five nice strong breaths here. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. That's one. All right, and another nice deep breath in. Excellent. And we'll bring the arms straight in front of you, and then like an arrow, like a bow and arrow, pull back. So your left leg is, your right leg is forward, your right arm stays forward, pull your left arm back like you're pulling in at warrior, like, a, like you're a warrior. <laughs> and then you're gonna hold this strong position, this empowering, warrior pose, 
Stare at your thumbnail that's in front of you. Your back fingers are on your shoulder and your top elbow is lifted. And now here you can do a powerful breath called Breath of Fire. Keeps you energized, but keeps you holding the posture. Here we go for 10 pumps. Inhale, go. You're exhaling through your nose as you pull your belly to your uh, in. Go. Now take a deeper breath in, hold the breath. And exhale, bring your arm back in front, hands on your hips, and then step up two feet together at the front of your mat and step it out. Excellent. We're going to do the other side. I'm going to turn around so that I can see you when I do it. Two feet are rooted down. Soften and bend the knees. Sweep the arms out to the sides. Reach up. Exhale, Utkatasana or chair pose. So feel the weight in your heels and reach through the side body or play with cactus pose here. Breathe. Now you're only going far down as feels appropriate for your knees. So you're going to listen to your body here. Hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. Good, and root down to rise up and release the arms beside you. Standing now on your left foot, step your right leg back. Front knee is bent. Adjust your stance, your warrior one stance. So remember, where you first put your foot might not be quite right for you and your knees and your toes. So figure it out. Find a nice strong position. Stable feet, strong legs, excellent. Good, and then bring both arms up, inhale, and hold. Good, so we're holding the warrior one to start for about five, six breaths. Root down, listen. You may feel some tweakiness in your knees or your hips, so adjust, okay? Make it less, less can be more. Good, hold, count, breaths. Inhale, exhale. Feel really strong. Good. And now bring the arms in front of you. Make, extend, pitch your right leg forward, extend your right arm in front and make a fist. Thumb up. Now like a bow and arrow, pull back until your elbow is straight behind you and your hand is on your shoulder. And you're staring straight ahead at that thumb. Thumbs up. And focus. And you have a choice of breath. You can just do long, deep breaths or breath of fire, which is an exhale through the nose, pumping your belly 10 times. So let's do it. Take a breath in and go. Take a deeper breath in and exhale. Good, and then bring the arm that's behind you in front, both arms back up and step up two feet together. Let's step out wide on our mats. So with a nice wide stance, let's start here by taking your feet in a slight angle and just go a bit side to side to give your knees and feet a bit of a movement experience. Great. And then pause, tailbone drops, shoulders relax. This is goddess pose. So root down and sweep your arms out and lift them up into the cactus pose. So female goddess, fine breath, female warrior. Hold here. You might sink a little deeper and release the hands to your thighs, straighten the legs. Now let's go to our left side first for a warrior to hold. So take your foot, the left foot, and point it straight to the left and angle your back foot slightly. So it's a wider stance than the warrior one. We're in warrior two now, bending the knee. So sweep your arms out to the sides and extend through both arms and relax your shoulders. Root down, lengthen through both arms, through the chest, and feel lifted through your crown. Now turn, gaze to look over your left middle finger, 
and breathe and hold and breathe. Remember, the longer we hold, the more our muscles and bones will be stimulated and create more uh, bone density. Breathe. Let's do about three more deep breaths here. Breathe in and out through your nose, please. Take the back hand, which is your right, and gra wrap it around your waist. Turn your left palm up to the sky. Straighten your left leg. And then lean back, a little arc over, just gently arc back for a stretch. I call this reverse triangle. And then into triangle pose we'll go. So lean over and place this hand somewhere on your leg. Roll the top shoulder back. And maybe you need to bend this knee a little bit. That would be fine. And see how it would go to extend your arm up to the sky and hold Trikonasana or triangle pose. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Reach up, arms out. Both feet forward, hands on hips. Take your heels in, and then we'll do little mini squats here. So prayer hands spread, and now bend and squeeze. Bend and squeeze. Bend and squeeze. Hold here. We'll call this goddess pose. Do an isometric press. It's great for your wrists and your hands and your, sh and your chest. Hold, hold, hold. Press, press, press. Sink, sink, sink. <laughs> Go deeper if your body will allow for that. Release the hands and slowly come back up. Position your feet for warrior to other side. Right foot forward, left heel angles out. Extend the arms, shoulders relaxed. This knee bends and now you hold. Sink as deep as it feels good to do so. And find your breath. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. Just tune into sensation. Really feel your bones. Feel your thigh bones nice and engaged. Feel your glute gently engaged. Let's take three more breaths in Warrior Two. Excellent. Take your left hand, slide the back of your hand around your waist and roll the top shoulder back. The right palm turns up to the sky and then you'll straighten the right leg at the same time as you do a gentle reverse bend, reverse triangle, find breath. Good, and then hinging at your hips, Lean over until you're in actual triangle pose. So take your time to get to the place you're gonna hold. Maybe you'll go down, but if your chest is over the mat, you'll wanna come up a little bit and roll your top shoulder back. So somewhere along your leg, and the knee could have a slight bend, a micro bend. It does not have to be fully straight. You decide, and then extend your arm up and hold Trikonasana. Breathe. Let's hold for five, four, three. You could look down, you could look forward, or you could look up. Two more breaths. Now take a deeper breath to release. Come on up, arms extend. Bend the knee and 
pivot your feet out. So now you're coming back into this uh, goddess position with the knees going side to side. Good, and root down in your heels, shoulders back and down. Sweep the arms up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, goddess. So strong, so strong, so powerful. Hands to that prayer. Press and release. Come on up carefully, relax your shoulders. Let's soften one knee and step the other leg up till two feet are together and you're standing in an easy Tadasana once again. Step out wide on your mat once again. Take your right foot pointed to the right. Take your left heel and angle it. Sweep your arms out and you know this, warrior two, bend the knee, root down in your warrior again, but this time we'll go to side angle bend. So bring your forearm to your thigh. Roll your top shoulder back and hand on hip. So you're new here, just uh, see how this feels for you. Place your hand on your hip. Decide where you wanna look. You could look down, you could look sideways. And you can just be right here. This is a really great place to be. And if you'd like to take the arm in another position, you might try that, it might feel good. Arm straight up or arm in line with your ear, which is, Kind of the traditional way to do this, it allows for length in the side body. So hold wherever you want to hold it. We're already there, about three breaths. Let's do three full deep breaths more. Perfect, good. And now we're gonna come slowly up, straighten the leg, pivot your foot forward and just other side. So foot to the other direction. So now that's your left foot straight ahead. Right heel, heel angles back. Sweep the arms out and bend your knee. Forearm to thigh. Top shoulder back. Choose your arm position. Breathe. Lengthen. If you can, try that arm extension position because it feels really great. Let's see if we can find about three more deep breaths here. Sink a little bit if you want to try that. Good. Now engage your muscles, your abs, slowly come up, straighten the leg, arms out, feet forward. Now just Carefully heel toe in, We're gonna move right into balancing challenge. Next up, we have a balancing sequence that's going to be a little bit challenging and yet effective <laughs> for building bone density because we're gonna require our bodies to uh, hold our, our legs individually to hold us up one at a time. So they're just gonna have to work really hard, which is going to result in building strength and increasing bone density. Okay, so, Please do not be shy to use a wall or a chair or your kitchen counter to give you support during these one-legged postures if you need it, not a problem. Okay, so two feet root down to start. Appreciate that you have two feet and now let's put the weight into your right leg. So root down in the right, take a moment there, lighten up on the left and just play with that and say, oh, there we go, we're standing on just one leg for a minute, hmm, okay. Right there, your brain is getting that message. I am balancing in this one-legged position. Okay, rotate the hip out, so rotate the knee to the left, and now your job is to either stay right here with your toes on the floor in shrub pose. This is a balancing tree variation called shrub. You can hold this for the next five to six breaths, or you can bring your foot up a little higher and use your hip uh, strength and muscles to hold a version of tree where you are using not the pressure of your foot into your leg, but the strength of your hip to hold the leg out to the side. This is hard. Good, and <laughs> you might be holding on to something. I'm gonna take it all the way up into tree 
which is the variation where I grab my ankle and put my foot into my inner thigh and hold vrikshasan or tree pose. And this is where I can press my inner thigh and foot into each other. Good, so you're doing some version of this and you're holding. Let's do about four more breaths. Excellent. Bring the knee forward and two feet down and step it out. Before we do the other side, let's do the Leonardo. So this is a balancing challenge as well. It's going side to side, putting weight on one foot and then the other. And your body and your brain have to adjust to this new position. So it's so great to give your body and your brain new experiences to prepare you for what may come your way. Excellent. And back to standing. Okay, root down two feet. Now you'll put the weight into your left and start to lighten up on the right. Do little movements, pick up, lower, rotate into your shrub. Okay, this is a place you can hold, okay, and there's no, nowhere else you need to go if this feels really great. So you can you do this little balancing position right now. Your hip is rotated, it's a variation on the tree pose, you can hold here, or you can lift your leg up foot goes up and down the side of your leg without pressing, using your hip to hold you up. You can choose to hold along the way here, or you can come all the way up like me, pressing your foot into your inner thigh. When you do this version, you do need to press together to engage the muscles of both your inner thigh, your foot, and your hip. Hold any position. Use the support if you need the wall or the counter. Choose your arm position, focus, and let's do about three more full deep breaths. Find focus, find breathing, maybe move your arms around. And allow your knee to come forward before lowering your foot to the floor. Step it out, take the feet wide once again, and then Side to side movement. Let's see if we can hold one side and the other side. Excellent. Step it out. Transition, please, to your mat. All right, my friends, we've got some work to do down here. Uh, to prepare for push-ups and planks. Let's begin in table position. If your knees are sensitive to the mat and the floor, you may take a moment to put a towel or blanket underneath your knees so that you are comfortable. With your uh, table position here, your fingers are spread uh, and your arms are straight, we slide and glide a little bit. So you may have wrist sensitivity, but this is going to strengthen your wrists because this is what we're going to do. We're going to keep the heel of the hands on the floor as your hips go back, lift your hands up and your fingers and pull back, lots of energy. Stretch your fingers wide and pull your hands towards your face. Find your breath. And then come forward and we'll just do that again like that. So let's pull back and weight forward. And as you go forward, you're creasing your wrists and the weight is on your hands and your shoulders. Come back and forward. Back and forward. Pull back and come forward. Excellent. All right. Now take your hands, take a moment, maybe shake them out, and turn the fingers so that they point towards each other. And now we're going to start our crazy push-ups and think of these as warm-ups, all right? So just go down halfway with your hands in this position, fingertips pointing towards each other, up and down, up and down. 
Excellent. And then turn your palms up, backs of your hands on the floor, underneath your face, lower and lift. Try to get the thumbs back onto the floor. So you're stretching out your hands and your fingers up and down, up and down. Good. And shake that out. This is really good for your wrists. And maybe open and close your hands and shake out your fingers and your wrists. And now let's do our actual push-ups. So I'm working on um, knee push-ups. I'll be doing, um, just for this video, we'll do 10 knee push-ups um, or any amount that works for you. And if actual knee push-ups is not going to work for you today, then take a moment, walk over to your wall, and do wall push-ups, okay? And that's totally fine. Just place your hands on your wall, and you'll be doing this, okay? Not a problem. I'm on the knee push-up path, and maybe you can do a full push-up. So you choose a push-up that works for you. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. I lift up my, uh, leg, my feet and cross my ankles. How do I do it? Ready? And go. So let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And stretch it back. When you stretch back, you might choose to come to the tops of your fingers, tented hands, and lengthen from the top of your hands all the way back to your hips. Find breath. Excellent. Okay, my strong bones friends, we are on the home stretch for this session. We're going to go on to our backs. Take your time moving to your back carefully. And once you're down here, uh, this being yoga, let's take a moment to tune in to our bodies and our breath in this position. Simply have your feet about hip width or wider grounded. And feel your lower back gently pressing into the floor and your shoulders relaxed. Place your hands on your belly and find Awareness of breath, breathing in and out through your nose. Excellent. And now, tailbone tucks, squeeze your butt for some pelvic tilts and release. So squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. When you squeeze, you squeeze your, your butt. And when you release, you arch your back. You could literally place a hand underneath your lower back. So do a few of these. It's very beneficial for your spine and your pelvic mobility. Good. And now pause. Just relax. Now walk your heels a little closer in towards your butt. Take your forearms and press down onto the floor. Fingers can point up to the sky. And let's move into bridge pose. Setu Bandhasan. So lift those hips up off the floor, lift them up, and then get to a place where you have a straight line from your shoulders, hips to your knees. So you don't have to press to your fullest extent. You want to have a straight line. But now engage your inner thighs, engage your arm bones, and uh, lift your toes, lift your toes. You might remember way back at the beginning of the session, I may have suggested that you tune into the tripod of your feet, big toe mound, pinky toe mound and heel. Do that now. Spread your toes just like you were standing. Now engage your inner thighs again and press down on your forearms again and smile and breathe. Breathe into your hip bones, breathe into your spine. Relax your feet. Hold. It's all about the hold today, my friends. It's all about the hold. Excellent. 
Excellent. And slowly let it down. Release your shoulders, release your feet, your hips, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Good. And now let's take your strap, your leash, planting your right foot on the floor, bring your left knee in. Uh, you might have to reach up to wrap the strap around your left leg, uh, around your foot rather. So it's around the ball of your foot, right below the ball of your foot. And you get to choose. You can keep this uh, opposite leg bent or you can straighten it. If you straighten it, you wanna flex the foot and feel your hip bone nice and grounded. And then you wanna to try to straighten the extended leg and hold here. You may find that you prefer the bent leg, and that is fine. Hold and breathe. Now, take your hand that's the same side as your extended strapped up leg and hold on to your straps with that hand. Take the other hand and place it on the hip bone. Begin to take this straight extended leg out to the side, any amount. Only go as far as you can, and you can, give, you can make your straps longer to give yourself some more and give, but only go as far as you can without this hip coming up off the floor. And you do kind of want to try to make it be to the side straight and hold. Hold it here, find your breath. And now, engage your abs, lift your leg up straight ahead again, and now take the other hand, grab those straps. Take the strap side hand and extend that arm out in a T position to the side. Now here, it's a lot easier to have the legs straight on the floor here, because you need some space. Okay, you're gonna take this leg over until it's parallel to the floor. And yeah, this is a twist, but it's not a really big twist. Only go as far as the leg is parallel to the floor. And hold. And breathe. And now, engage your abs, use your breath, come on up. As you come up, you can release. So bend the knee, release the straps, and lift up both legs. Take your hands behind the thighs below, back, back here, give yourself some love, and then do a gentle bounce out. Shake it from knees to toes here and be relaxed. Other side. So you're going to bring your strap around the other foot, extend that leg up to the sky. Lower back is grounded. Play with your choice of straight leg or bent leg here. And it's fine to utilize this strap to make this leg be straight because you're stretching. It's a stretch. Shoulders are back and down, neck and jaw and face are relaxed, and you're holding. You're holding, you're finding your breath. And now we'll take the hand that is the same side as the extended strapped leg. And we'll hold on to both strap parts with that hand. We'll take the other hand and place it on the hip bone to keep it grounded of the other side. Then we'll start taking this leg out to the side. So you can give yourself some slack, that's why you have a strap here, until you extend it out to the side and then you'll hold. And your arm almost works as a tripod here to support your leg holding up with the strap. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Excellent. And now engaging your abs, use your breath, come on up to center, switch hands. So the other hand will grab the straps and this strap side arm goes out to the side and it grounds down to the side 
and creates stability in a T position. I'm going to straighten my lower leg now and then take this leg across. It only goes till it's parallel to the floor and then I hold it. Find your breath. Breathe into sensation. Woo. One side usually feels different than the other side and that would be pretty normal. <laughs> Excellent. Now, slow-mo, start moving back up. You can release this on the way up. You can bend the knee, release your straps, put your strap to the side, and then hands behind the knees, do your flutter kick out. And then why not, because it feels so good, take your hands, place them on top of your knees, and do that lower pelvic circle. So a low back love. You crunch in, you go to the side, you extend your arms, tailbone drops, go to the other side, and pull back in. So it's a slow, conscious massage of your lower back. Reverse the direction on that circle. Perfect. And now uh, release both feet back to the floor, extend one leg in, out, <laughs> interlace the hands on the bent knee and pull that one in, so a little press, a little press. And then knee across uh, with the bent knee, easy twist. Back to center, switch sides, extend that leg, then press in on the hip, other side. Take that knee across. and back to center. And now, finally, we'll do restorative rest pose uh, before we conclude this session. So take your knees to touch and your feet wide and place your arms in a position of your choice. So you might want to do cactus because it might feel nice to open up the chest here, palms face up. But you also might not want to do that. You might want to place your hands on your belly or your heart. So choose any position that you like with your hands and then close your eyes. And while you are breathing and your eyes are closed, you're just letting go for the final few moments of this session. Alright, my strong bones friends, time to transition. 
So if you are lying down, you want to take a moment to uh, gently stretch and prepare to come up and uh, continue your day. You can choose to come and sit with me for a moment and we'll end in a seated position together if you would like to. So once you have found a comfortable seat, see if you can allow for a sense of, of once again to connect to the earth with your seat. Have a straight spine and a relaxed shoulders with head over heart over pelvis. Tune back into breath through your nose. So let's bring our hands together, rub them, and draw those prayer hands to the heart center. Take a moment now and uh, choose to send some prayers for peace to our planet. There are many people suffering right now and we can hold some space for them in this moment with our prayers. Namaste, my friends. Thank you.